Never mind flashy films. We're having trashy films. Welcome everybody. As the aquarium has closed, I thought that it was time to start another new series by opening... What do you mean I need a Pentium Extreme Edition processor? I don't have one of those. Good grief. Because nobody has one of those anymore because they're ancient. Welcome to the movies. Does this class as a retro game yet? I don't even care. This has got the best menu music in the history of the universe and I could sit and listen to it all day. But we're not going to do that because we need to get on and learn how to build a massive film studio that will rival the likes of Marvel and Amazon. My mega stars in this, all of my actors and actresses are my patrons. Thank you to you as a little reward. I have put you into the game when we get that far. First, I haven't played this in years, so I need to know how to play. Let's learn the basics. The orchestra is warming up to play a load of pieces of music that are going to get me a copyright hit. Welcome to the movies. In this tutorial, you'll learn all of the basics needed to play the game. Yay! By the time you can move around the studio lot by moving the mouse pointer to the edge of the screen. So I or can. you can use the arrow keys. I can do that as well. Yes, now. Winning! Information about characters and objects is displayed in bubbles. Try hovering the mouse pointer over a person in the studio lot. Let's get a better look at Great. this lot. You load of wannabes. Okay. Let's talk about how you hire someone or assign them a job. Have a look at the stage school building. That would be here. As you can see, each building has a floor plan that's divided into a number of rooms. You can perform actions by placing people and objects within these rooms. I'm more interested in the fact that I've got sparkly Go on, all over the place. Give look. It a try. First, Hover the mouse pointer above one of the people in the line. Right, this guy looks like he's done his back in, so we're having him. Up a person or object. Oh, he's pregnant. And hold the left mouse button for a short time. Well, that's Whoop. it. Now drag this person over the create actor room in the stage school. Mate, you can fly. You're not even in a film yet. Look at you. You've turned into a superhero. The rooms turn green when you can. Congratulations. You've just hired your first star. He's not really though, is he? Oh, he thinks he is. Sparkling streams will guide you in the right direction, suggesting where to go next, or where to place a person or object you're holding. I do like a good sparkling stream. Look at you. I've turned you into Captain Something. Captain Back Problems. The guiding stream is suggesting you place your star in the nearby trailer. Do this now. Oh, you're getting lucky here, mate. You get your own little place to live. Might make you fly a bit longer first, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Fantastic. You're really getting the hang of this. You'll be making movies in no time. He's furious. It looks like he's just nicked all the stickers out of the Lego movie too. But anyway. Sparkling streams will also suggest things to build. I like sparkling Click streams. On the build menu button now. What are sparkling streams leading me to now That's then? It. Now click on the sparkling facilities button. Then again on the snack van button. There's a sparkling snack van? This is the best game ever! Yay! You can place the building in your studio lot by left clicking on the desired location. Try this now. Where shall I put it? Down here? The outline will go red if there is something in the way. Okay, I'll put it there. You now know all the basics. That's quick. Click on the bubble to learn some more. Okay, let's learn about star icons. Each of your stars, movies, and staff members has an icon on the side of the screen. Hover over this star icon now. Right, this is how I get to spy on what he's Hovering up to. Hovering over a star icon will reveal information about that star. Christopher Hutchins, I'm watching you. Left clicking on a star icon will move your view to that star in your studio lot. Let's see what he's up to. Oh, to having a bit of star, sit down. You can left click, hold, and drag them off their star icon. Ooh. Try this now. Can I? Christopher, who is clearly extremely unhappy, is about to get the shock of his life. That's it. Now you know how to use star icons. Drop the star when you're ready to continue. Where am I going to drop you, Christopher? Back in your trailer? Or perhaps by the snacks area so that you can get used to being there? Or perhaps in the middle of the flowers? Okay, now let's learn more about information bubbles. 
Emergency indicators like the one now over your star highlight problems you need to deal with. Yeah, well, he is a problem. Hover over your star to view this information. You're always a problem, aren't you? What are you doing, Christopher? Seriously, I give you a trailer? I give you a job? What more do you want? What are you looking at? You don't Other want to be an extra. information will be highlighted with icons like the one now over your star. I know. Hover hovering over a person or object will reveal its information in order of importance. Hover over your star or their star icon to try this. There we go. He's an actor. View just all the information on a person. Simply right-click on that person. There he is. He's twenty. He's already got a drink problem and a back problem and no hair. It's not great information, is it? I didn't really want Excellent. to know that. Now you know how to access information in the world. Good. Okay, let's learn a bit more about moving your view around the studio. Let's do it. You can zoom in and out I can. by scrolling the mouse wheel forwards and backwards. Try this now. Do it to the music. Oh. You can rotate your view around a point by pressing down the middle mouse button, then moving the mouse left and right. Try it. I so can. I've got that. Okay. Now you know how to zoom and rotate your view. Great. You now know how to interact with characters and find out information about them. You know about guiding streams and sparkles. I do. And I you love know those. how to interact with building floor plans. You now have the skills to begin running your own studio. That's what so you think. Started. Wow. Well, that was the quickest tutorial in the known universe. I was expecting much more than that. Brilliant. Let's get on with the game. So, it's time for me to create my studio, and it looks like I've got a couple of people who want to help. Just back off, okay? I'm just I'm just trying to shoot a video here. You can come later. Although with acting skills like that, maybe not. Anyway, is my studio name Flashy Films? That sounds like something I would call a studio. <laughs> but let's have a look through some of these logos first. That one looks eerily familiar. We've got uh, Over the Mountain films we've got uh, roman films we are watching you films so stop it i don't care how well you dance you're not getting in we've got horsey films we've got can i help you yeah i know you're there just back off all right I'm trying to do things we've got swirly films eagerly films oh choppy films we've got heck meaty foot back end of a cow films that's not weird at all uh, Flushy films, maybe. Peaceful films, flowery films. Gigantic explosion. Stop it. Stop it. The answer's no. We've got uh, ooh, burger films. Moneyed films. Teethy films. Tapey films. Speech films. Music films. Catty films. Birdie films. Alieny films. Wow. Lots of Halloween looking stuff. I like that one. Over the rainbow films. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Very bright films. And what it is with the bulls? Bendy pencil films. Swordy films. Meaty films again. Looks like it's clapperboard's gonna eat you kind of films. So many cows. <laughs> Have a cow films. Oh, they're all so good. That's probably more like it. I like that one. The flaming Lego figure films. Sorry, I'm being put off by this bloke. Goodness sake. I do feel that that's probably more relevant to my interests. Never mind flashy films. We're having trashy films. Welcome to, Welcome the, dawn to of the, the dawn of the movie industry. I was going to say that. The year is 1920. And your new studio's success lies in your hands. Uh oh. You must guide it to greatness. You must create the biggest movies and employ the most famous stars. I've got those. As you strive to reach the summit of the studio charts and reap the rewards of victory. I do like a good First, road. build a thriving studio. Hire wannabes and nurture them into your stars. Ones without clothes. Make the movies that'll get the big bucks rolling in and clean up at the awards. Awards. Then, with every award you win, I'm good at awards. With every success you enjoy, I've won hospital awards. Your studio's reputation will grow. Soon, stars from rival companies will flock to your studio, and you'll unlock new technologies, scenes, like and sets 
to make your movies better than ever. Bring it on. So what are you waiting for? You. You've got a suitcase full of cash and a world of possibilities before you. Has anybody Get seen the suitcase? And start making your dreams come true. Somebody taking because the suitcase. In the movie industry, anything is possible. Except it isn't because somebody's nicked the suitcase. Oh, studio. hello. Okay, before you open the studio, you'd better set up some of the essentials. I shall get on to my sparkly streams. The first building you'll need is a stage school for hiring your stars. Well, that's it. Now left click on the sparkling facilities branch and then select the stage school building. You can place the stage school anywhere by left clicking at the desired location. Go ahead, give it a try. Where shall I put it? Kind of roughly where it was in the tutorial? Or maybe I should put it down here. Perhaps I should have all of the buildings, like the functional buildings down here out of the way. Good. To build the stage school, you'll need to hire a builder at the staff office by the studio gates. They're running in. They're running in. You do know that you can't dress like that if you want to be a builder. Now, now hire them. Great. Builders Better. Builders perform any building and maintenance Ooh. duties automatically. So you fantastic. While the stage school is being built, you can use this time to sort out the rest of the buildings you'll need. Christina, you're thrilled with your new job, but you're going in the wrong direction. I need you over here. Okay, now build a casting office. You'll need this for assigning stars to your movies. Just follow the sparkles on the build menu. I do like following you can a good sparkle. A building by holding down the left mouse button and moving the mouse around in a circle. I so Try can. Now. Great, now build a crew facility. Every movie needs a crew to operate the filming equipment. Now this feels like it should be somewhere else, like nearer the sets. Perhaps we should have a sort of crew and actors facility over here. I'll just pop it down. More builders would help to speed things up. Not if they like Hire Christina. Another builder at the staff office. Okay, I will. You, you were next. Okay, you'll also need a set to shoot your movie on. The stage set will be perfect. Left click on the sets icon, then select the stage set. Here we go. I could put my stage set near my crew. That makes Finally, sense. Build a production office. You'll need this to release your movie. Right, this can come down here because that's big. I could have a sort of street with all these big buildings on it. Excellent. There we go. Now you've got all the buildings you need for your movie. You can look at improving the studio environment. One of the keys to running a successful studio is making sure your staff click on the landscaping button, then select the <laughs> sparkling path icon. It's making sure my staff click on the landscaping button. I don't think it is. Okay, right. Here we go. Path. Got some grass. Got some sand. And we've got some tarmac. Tarmac is only $5. Whereas a path is $20. Why can't I just use tarmac? I know it's not pretty, but it requires little access and provides quick, sorry, little maintenance and provides quick access around the lot. I think I'd rather have tarmac, thanks. Ooh, it's not very pretty, is it? That doesn't even look like it's been properly built. Damn it, how do I get rid? Lay a path by left clicking and dragging out the shape on the ground. Oh. Try linking up the flashing connection points on your buildings. There we go. So I can actually put tarmac around the paths. <laughs> there we go. Interesting. Right, better connect my crew bits. There we go. That's costing me a whole world of money. I like okay, the sound that'll do for now. It won't. Remember to lay down more paths as the studio expands. Okay. Another important factor of having a great studio is to make sure your staff have a nice working environment. Try placing down some ornaments. I tell you what, let's have a big garden here. Now that would be amazing, like a little garden where everybody could come and eat their lunch. So we've got flower beds, more flower beds, we've got some palm trees. Ooh, let's have some flower okay. beds. Okay, now place some ornaments around the studio. Left click to place an ornament and right click to get rid of the one you're holding. Okay, time to move on. Remember no, it's not time to, to move on. I more ornaments as the I haven't done enough expands. ornaments. Shut up. There we go. Excellent. The studio is now ready. Is it? Carry on improving things if you wish. And when you're ready, you can open the studio. Are you ready to open the studio? Not really. Oh. The studio is officially open. I've just accidentally opened the studio. It's fine. Nobody panic.
Good it's morning, fine. We've got some nice sweet lunch. You are oh, no. tuned in to KMVS Wireless. Oh god, on I'm not. Am I? Of one to one point five, oh and no. I am your wireless announcer, Mr. William McDuff. Are you? Thank you for joining me on such a beautiful day. I can't. Well, I can't deal with that. It would appear we have a new movie studio opening in town. So, if you're looking for employment in this fledgling industry, why not take a stroll over to the beach and hand in your resume? I'm going to take a stroll over to the options menu because I cannot deal with another DJ. No! It actually says news only. Because you can have it on DJ and news, but for some reason he's talking anyway. Hopefully that shut Remember, him up. Unlike <gasps> wireless, you don't need a good voice to be in a movie. Go away! I cannot be competing with that. I okay, can't deal with it. Time right. to make your first movie. Yay! You won't get far without an actor and a director. So select a couple of appropriate wannabes at the stage school. Look at these wannabes, eh? Hire a person by dropping them in the create actor room. Or take a look at another wannabe. Now I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put them into import star because... Ta-da! Here are my patrons, the people who've signed up to be mega stars. We've got Moss, we've got Jenny, we've got Timo, we've got Dennis, we've got Mark, and we've got me. So let's start with Mark. Now we just need a director. Bear in mind that a director won't appear in front of the camera, so their skills and character are more important than their appearance. Ooh. Um, I will import this person here. And this is nothing about you at all, Timo, but I'm going to have you as my director. There you are. It's giving you a hat. Look. Right, so I presumably need to now send you through that That's process. Uh-oh. Okay, time to move on. He is not happy. Why are you not happy? Disappointed by your career path change? Well, just live with it. You've got a hat. What more do you want? Honestly. Now everyone knows a great movie starts with a great script. Luckily, you've just acquired one. It's by the studio gates. Hover over it now. If by acquired you mean stole. It's time to get this movie started. Follow the stream to the casting office where you can get your new stars to rehearse the script. I'm glad the stream knows where everything is because I don't. <laughs> okay, your movie now needs a cast and a director. Let's start by assigning your new director. Right, come on, Timo of the hat. Get in there. Now cast your new actor. Mark, in the, the lead role. The stars now started rehearsing the script. This will help boost the final quality of the movie. Now hire some crew members to manage all the equipment. Look, look at him. You're pretending you don't like being a director, but look at you. You love it. Look at him. Couldn't be much more excited. Mark is taking it very seriously. Look, they don't quite know why he's dressed in cricket gear. But I'm sure it's relevant to the film in hand. I need to hire some crew, so I'm going to go all the way over to my crew thing. None of you get to be crew. Sorry. We'll need to hire another crew member for the movie. Not that you'd want to be. It's just all these people instead in these jackets. Great. Available crew will fill any required crew positions, so you don't need to assign them. Look at the movie to see how rehearsal is progressing. It's progressing very well. We're nearly there. I like the fact that... This has grass on top of it. I have a garden on top of my crew area. Let's get back over here. All right. Rehearsal oh. of the script ding, ding, is ding. finished. It's time to shoot your movie. Place it in the shoot it room of the casting office. Shoot it. Your movie is now shooting. Go to the stage set to follow its progress. How exciting. The stars and crew you selected will assemble at the set, ready for shooting to begin. Brilliant. Where are you? Oh, there! Who is it? Where's Timo? I've never seen him so excited. He cannot what wait to get started! By looking at the cast and crew information bubble on the movie. Timo Warner is heading for the set. He's legging it to the set. And Mark is going to get changed, apparently. Where are you, Mark? Oh, there he is. Also cannot wait to start his career as a movie star. Oh, look at him. Loving it. Spitting out hearts. Right, where are my crew? Oh, hang on a minute. There, there is what. Oh, look. They've brought Timo's chair. Is Mark... Have you got change? No. Oh, that was a bit clever. How did you do that? And where did you get your hat from? Now I can't tell the difference between you and Timo, except Timo is spitting out flowers. Shot. 
You can see the overall movie progress in the movie's information bubbles. Awesome. Okay, so we're shooting scene one of three. Currently shooting on the stage. Everybody's on set. It's time to begin. Action! It's very commanding, Timo. Scenes that are still to be shot are displayed in the movie's shooting schedule bubble. Each scene shows which set it will be shot on. Okay, now you can continue to follow the movie's progress. With pleasure. Oh, look. In preparation for your next movie, build the new set that has become available. This will help to keep the public interested in your movies. Before I do that, I just want to see what's going on here because they seem to be throwing clouds at each other. <laughs> I don't quite know what that means. Does that mean you don't get on? I mean, Timo is spitting it's flowers and rainbows. He's also got a lot happier. Still disappointed, but ultimately happier, Timo. Is it because Mark's doing such a good job? Oh, look! It's all sunshine with you, isn't it? Right, while you're doing that, I'm going to build another set, as instructed. The Wild West Saloon. Oh, God, it's huge. Right, so does this need to be right away from things? Because presumably if you've got two sets next to each other, okay. they can the hear each other? Shooting, Maybe not. It's worth looking after the rest of the studio. Is it? Look around the studio for information icons and the corresponding tips. They see what we need is snack vans. What's missing is snack vans, so where do I get a snack van from? Oh, it's not there. Oh, that's really frustrating. What else is in here? In this furniture bit, we've got a basketball hoop. And got a bath. Action. Beach ball. Ah, oh, bins. Yes. I need bins. I will put them. I'll put one in this little gap that's been created in the path, which I didn't intend to do. And I'll put one in my little garden. Speaking of my little garden, here's some benches. If I turn them that way, then you can look at the pretty flowers while you're eating your lunch. And cut. When I've got somewhere for you to buy lunch. There we go. Awesome. It's a wrap. Thank oh. you. Thank you very much, Timo. Where are we up to? Are we, are we done? No, we've got one more scene to shoot, so we'll drop in and see what happens. Oh, they're taking the camera away. Don't take the camera away. I think we might need it for scene three. No, they're definitely packing up. Everybody's walking off. Why are you taking the chair and the camera away? Please put it back. Thank you. That was a little bit worrying there. I was wondering what was going on. We're okay. It's good. We're still shooting. We haven't got so angry with each other that we've walked off. Come on, Timo. Do your directoral thing. Action! Here comes Mark. You're going to be really funny, aren't you, Mark? Really, really funny. You're going to do something, aren't you? Yeah? Something more than that. Are you drunk? Oh, woo! Hilarious, I think we can all agree. That's going to be the best comedy movie in the whole world. Thank you very much. And cut. Thank God that's over. Right. Meanwhile, to even things up a bit. It's a wrap. Thank you. I just fancy another bin over here. There we go. Oh, thank you. Applauding my bin. You're very welcome. Now, I saw that one of these was stress relief. I think it was this one. So we could have a little sport area. The thing is, I don't want a sport area that's going to disturb people shooting films. I don't know if it makes any difference. Can I put my sport area down here, maybe? Near the tarmac? Because the tarmac is ugly as sin. Shooting there we go. Finished on your movie, <gasps> and it's now ready for release at the production office. Yay! Does that mean money? Should we watch it first? Here we go. The Baggage Boy. Lionhead movies, Lionhead movies. What? Thank you. No, a trashy films production. The Baggage Boy, starring Mark Crosby as Tomlinson. Here he comes. He's it. He's gonna lift the thing. The thing is, we've already seen the end scene, so we know he's. We know he's gonna lift the thing. Sorry, there was a massive spoiler, wasn't there? Here he comes. And now we all get to see him falling over again. Spoiler. Ooh. 
Ooh, this is a different bit. He can't lift it. Oh, dear. Well. I'm assuming that was scene one, was it? Who's doing the piano music, incidentally? I don't have a music department. Ah, now I recognise this bit. It's no better after post-production, to be honest. Oh, there it goes. And now we can all laugh at Mark. Sorry, Tomlinson. Hee 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 as he does his own stunts. All events and characters in this movie are fictitious and any resemblance to real people is completely intentional. You're welcome. That's my first film. It's going to make loads of money if it doesn't float off. Let's release it. The script quality was one star. I was told that it was great. Boo. The star relationships were average. The repair of the sets was superb. The crew experience was poor, but well, they didn't have a snack van. Poor star power, that's not really massively surprising. Genre interest is good. Novelty value is superb and the technology was standard. My final movie rating was... Uh, shit. <laughs> Did we make any money? That's the question. Um, you didn't ha gain any stress, that's good, but you did gain some experience. Awesome. The sets used in this movie were in pretty good condition. Writing that's so funny you'll spit out your teeth from laughing so hard. But unfortunately, Mark Crosby doesn't have a great deal of comedy experience. He really let the movie down. We've seen chimps act more convincingly than this, and Timo Warner's poor direction didn't do this movie any favours. Thanks, guys. On the Excellent. plus side, your first movie has been released. Money. Releasing a movie has given you some recognition, and you're now listed in the official industry charts. Yay! I think we're number nine. Now, what did it cost? About ten grand. So I need that to go up a lot if I'm going to make some money out of it. Look at you two, though. You're really happy. Happy, happy, happy. Your studio's chart rating is based on the movies you release, the stars you employ, and the overall status of your studio. Better get some more stars in then. The bigger your stars, the higher your studio rating. Well, you two have now got some experience, so presumably you'll be better, the better next your movies, time. The higher your studio rating. I think I've made a profit on this. To view the star, movie, and studio charts, left click on the rosette. The rosette? There we go. This is Trashy Films. We are currently fifth. The film is ninth. And... Ooh, 11th and 12th for Mark and Timo. That's not too bad. Except it's probably out of 12. Now that you have a movie out and some money in the bank, it's time to take a closer look at your stars and staff. I don't know whether I want to take a look closer look at them, to be honest. Your employees need good sanitation. So place down some restrooms to improve your studio rating. Oh, the snack van! The snack van has appeared! Oh, we've got little tiny toilets. Should I put a tiny toilet your there? employees need good catering provisions too. A snack van will do for now. A snack van will always do. Two snack vans will do. Right, the snack van can go near the park and also near the sets. That would make sense, so you can get some food while you're doing your stuff. Great. This will raise not only your catering rating, but your overall studio rating too. I like the idea of having a catering rating. Happy stars make better movies. If you want a star to perform well in a movie, you need to make sure they're happy. So you all need to be happy, right? And their mood bar shows you how happy they are. Let's have a look. Are you happy? No, you're dropping litter. When the mood bar goes beyond the upper threshold line, it will glow green. This means a star is very happy. They're happy. When the mood bar goes below the lower threshold line, it will glow red. This means a star is very unhappy. Well, they're happy at the moment because they've just produced an awesome film. So that's unhappy good. Unhappy stars could cause you problems, so look out for the red emergency icons. There better not be any emergencies because I came here to make films, not One to deal with you lot. star's mood is how they feel about their image. Try hovering over your stars to see how they feel. Oh, I don't know. Mark looks pretty happy. I'm going to pop him on the bench down here and I'm going to force Timo to talk to him. <laughs> there we go. To improve a star's image is to give them a makeover. That didn't look good. To do this, you'll need to build a makeover department first. Oh boy. It's going to force me into building a makeover department when I want another snack van. Remember, you can rotate a building by holding the left mouse button and moving the mouse around in a circle. Go on, 
Give it a try. Let's pop it here. Builders around the sides of the building to speed up construction if you want. There we go. Right, where are my builders? Use the arrows above the star icons to view your other staff types. Staff icons can be used in the same way as star icons. Oh, here they are. Have you been sabotaging my sets? Remember, Ooh. you can rotate a building by holding the left to do that. button and moving the mouse around in a circle. I've just done something I didn't mean to do. Give it a try. So the red is presumably this is ugly as sin. And my beautiful garden is green because it's lovely. And my snack pan is ready. That's all that's really important. Look, it's Giorgio's snacks. He's actually got snacks. We can okay. hear him While the doing the burgers. Apartment is being built, try placing a few more ornaments around your studio. I'm sure I can do that. I've just realised actually Giorgio's brought his own bin as well. That's good. Uh, right, what can I put? Ooh. Statues. Oh, I like the idea of street lamps because then you can come and eat stuff at night. I don't know whether this has night time or not, but I do like the idea of that. Let's pop some in. Music's gone all lovely and relaxing, hasn't it? There we go. Better have some along the main street area as well. It's a bit like theme park. Building a little theme park. Okay. The makeover department is built. Pick up a star whose image you want to improve. Oof. Well, Mark, I think we need to improve your image, do we not? Okay. Give this star a make. Drop a star in the makeover room to enter the makeover screen. Or use the auto room if you don't mind what a star wears. No, I don't mind, but he might. An auto makeover allows Ooh. a star to decide what they want to wear. It takes some time, but will keep a star happy with their image. <laughs> Lazy. You apparently receiving a makeover. Nothing really seems to be happening, but I'm glad you're reading the comics. <laughs> I mean, really, Timo could probably do with some image as well, couldn't he? Let's do both. You're going to be a star Drop director. A star in the makeover room to Let's make you over. Right. I quite like your natty director's hat. Do you want a red tie or a purple tie or a green tie? How about no tie? What if I don't want any of these? A 20s dandy? Do you want to be a 20s dandy? Or perhaps a 20s vagabond or a scientist? Or just in your underwear? Which of these is directorial? That's the question. Don't want you dressed as a cowboy, particularly. How about an Edwardian suit? Oh, that's very directorial. Your shoes are a bit ugly, though. Shall I make them colourful? Oh, let's make them white. There we go. Oh, lovely. I can change your hair colour as well. But you're wearing a hat, so on that basis, it's quite difficult to see. There's the default option. High fashion. And a reasonable image, I think. Enter the makeover screen. Or Okay, using the makeover screen is a lot quicker than an auto makeover and gives you more control. But be careful not to choose something a star is unhappy with. I think he's very happy with it. He's at the height of fashion and his image has improved. Meanwhile, Mark's just reading comics. A up. Okay, make sure all your stars are happy with their image. When you're ready to move on, click on this bubble. Mark, are you ready to move on? I don't know what you're up to in there. It's going ring. Is that good? Oh. Oh, you've turned into Timo. I've just, I've just taken that hat off, Timo. Oh well, waste not, want not. Are you happy? He's very happy. I think. Are you happy? I think his image has gone up. He's sparkling. Great. Remember to revisit the makeover department if any stars are unhappy with their image in future. Okay, I think we need to make another As film. As you can imagine, the more successful your stars become, money? the more money they want. Look how much money! I've made loads of money on it! Hover over one of your stars to see how they feel about their salary. If you want to give a star a raise, take them to the production office. How do you feel about your salary? Not too bad. I don't want to be wasting any money on you, if though, you for the time being. If you want without giving anyone a raise, click here. I don't think I do, but I better check with Mark, because you know what he's like. Eh... Uh, it, nah, it's not nice. Oh, go on then. As you're my star sort of star salary, person. Place a star in the finance room in the production office. In the salary screen. There we go. So, oh, 
actually, Timo's appeared as well. So there we go. There we go. A bit more money. Oh, wait, that's interesting. The satisfaction is dependent on what everybody else is getting as well. Ah. There we go. You can, as a star's rating increases, they'll demand higher pay. Stars can become jealous of their colleagues too, if treated unfairly. I wouldn't treat anybody unfairly, how dare you? I feel like I need to make another film. At I've made some loads point, of money. Your stars will begin to get bored and will need something new to do. Yeah, like making a film. Right, I need to write a script. How do I write a script? Actually, I don't know how to write a script. We've not got that far yet. Have a look at your star's information bubbles. If the boredom bar falls below the threshold line, a star will become very bored, which will affect their mood. They're not bored. The bar will gradually go down when a star has no work. They're not bored, but I'm going to make them play basketball anyway. Oh. They seem to like each other. Thing is, if they like each other more, surely on set they will be better and then make more, me more money because everybody go, oh, they got on really well. I just noticed my Art Deco toilet. That's amazing. Going to need some more of those. You've acquired another script, which Ooh. can be found at the studio gates. Yay! What's this one? Love Lasso. Love Lasso? Remember to follow the guiding streams and read the information bubbles to see what you need to do. I would need to begin casting, but I need a woman. And another O. This movie has some minor roles that you can fill with extras. You can hire extras at the stage school. Right. He's no good with romance, but he's my only director at the moment. Mark, you can star in it as well. In the Love Lasso. Does it only need one person, though? Surely Love Lasso needs more than one person, doesn't it? And more than one O? That's a bit weird. Right, let's get somebody else in. Right, you. Do you want to be an extra? How many more Available do I need? Extras will automatically fill any minor roles oh. in your movies. <laughs> Going off completely the wrong way. Genre experience, Just and you can turn them into stars if you think they're good enough. Right, you would think that I'd need another star to do Love Lasso. So let's import a woman. Right, enforced relationship. It is only acting, guys, remember. Here's Jenny. And she is also going to be in Love Lasso. Oh, I can't put her in. Oh, no. I just assumed it would need more than one. Oh, well, that sucks. Sorry. I'll send you to the toilet instead. In fact, I can't put you down at all. Surely it needs one more. It doesn't need one more. Fine. Well, in that case, I'm going to need you to do Remember some to things. Remember to place a movie in the shoot it room when it's ready to shoot. While this movie is shooting. Okay. Your second movie is now shooting. Follow the movie if you want to make sure everything goes to plan. Perhaps, Jenny, you could go and get a snack. Is there somewhere for people to practice things? Like, could she practice being an actor? Keep an eye on your star's moods during shooting. If a star's mood bar is glowing green, they will give a great performance. But if it's glowing red, they'll give a very bad performance. I think it's going to be shocking in any colour, to be honest. And Jenny could just wander around. Perhaps you could have a makeover. I'm going to put you in the makeover area. There we go. Wear what you want. I'm intrigued how we can have a romance film with only one person in it. <clears throat> anyway, here's Timo looking amazing. I don't like the crackling. Oh, the crackling is, is Giorgio doing his burgers. Oh, that's okay then. Awesome. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. You can even see the food. Look at him. He's loving it. He's going, look at my amazing burger, but nobody is here to eat it. I'll just chuck it in this box. And then I'll put it in the warmer. Meanwhile, the crew is struggling. Oh, we've got a new set. It's a romance in the trees. Mark is in his costume. What are you going to do for us? This isn't a comedy now, Mark. Somehow, Jenny's managing to be more of a star than both of you. She hasn't even done anything yet, but look. Timo's chucking clouds at you again. Oh, he's got a rose, but who are you going to give it to? Maybe that's the whole thing. He's gone out into the woods because he thinks he's meeting somebody and then it turns out that they're not there, so he chucks his rose on the floor. He's furious. Look at him being furious. It's a wrap. Thank you. That was a very easy scene for you, Mark, it has to be said. I'm just interested as to what's on this board. Oh, it's little storyboards. It's getting a round of applause anyway, so must have been reasonable. 
be intrigued to see how this goes. Meanwhile, excuse me. Add variety to your future movies and keep the public interested. There are, but I've got people lobbing dirt and stuff on my sets when I've got bins around. Even Giorgio's got a huge bin. Do I need to hire some janitory people? Um, would they be in the crew? I've already forgotten. Hello. I know you probably wanted to be a star, but I'd quite like you to be a janitor instead. I'll just dump you down there. There's nobody here. Is that where I get people from? I'm going to pluck you out of here. Oh, there it is. Create janitor. Yes. And then you can come over here, Ted, and you can clear up the mess. There we go. Look at him. Doing things like a good man. We seem to have gone to another set. We have. It's a Wild West romance. Who are you? Why are you on my set? Oh, she's an extra. Maybe he falls in love with an extra. Action! Let's go to see where is the director. He's there. It's fine. The crew haven't taken it upon themselves to make this film. Here comes Mark. He's looking for a person to give his rose and to. Cut. Is she the woman? Oh, we're not going to find out. It's a wrap. Movies Thank you. Be, every star gains experience while we're... Okay, your movie is still shooting, so make sure your buildings are all connected with pads or place down some more ornaments. Or some more bins, given that I can't trust you lot not to trash the place. Use it, please. Put one down here as well, even though there are already loads. Right, what else can we put in here? What's that? That looks like sweet. It is. It's sweets. It's sweets. Awesome. Let's put sweets on set. That'll keep everybody hyperactive. Do I get money for that? <laughs> We're going to stay away from scene three because I don't want to know. I want to watch the film and find out like everybody else. Meanwhile, this one is still raking in the cash. 83,000. It only cost me 10 to make. Wicked. Is there anything else I can build? Got a casting office. Got res Oh. Oh, no. Trailers. Trailers is the other thing, but it's not letting me have any. Got some more sets. We can have sci-fi or a musty cellar. I think we can put a sci-fi in. That would be a good idea. Looks like it fits there. Give my builders something to do as well. It Jenny, have you had your makeover, by the way? How do you look? Oh, actually, I think you said that you didn't want to wear dresses. Let's see if I can make you over into wearing trousers. I'm sure I will be able to. The problem is because we're in the 20s. Women wore, you know, dresses and stuff. And I think the game wants you to wear a dress. So you might end up having to wear a space suit, but I'm sure that's probably fine. That looks like tights, mind you. How's that? I mean, that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, it's not really the height of fashion, is it? <laughs> Next costume category is casual, got dress, scientist costume. Oh, is there nothing else with trousers? Because people didn't really wear trousers, you see. I can't see anything. No, there isn't. I'm really sorry. We might have to just pop you in this high fashion outfit for the time being. And I'll change you as soon as women can wear trousers. Sorry about that. At least you are super fashionable now. Right, I'm waiting for this film to be ready. I'm dying to look at what's going on on set. But I can't, because I don't want to know what happens at the end. Meanwhile, a lot of people need jobs. <laughs> and I don't need you, I'm really sorry. There's nobody queuing up to be an actor, though. Maybe I could make some of these people into actors later, eh? Currently fifth. That's pretty good. There's some information coming out of my toilet. My employees need more restrooms. I can definitely do that. Um, the thing is, where do you put them when they're that and ugly? Action. Maybe opposite the um, the makeover area. That feels like a good place to have a toilet. And cut. Oh, it's so nearly ready. Look. It's Mark's a finished. Thank you. Right, come on. New I need flash. this film to be ready so Eight I can make money. Eight intrepid pilots today announced their intention to fly around the world in planes, hoping to utilize cutting-edge aviation technology that'll propel their crafts through the sky at speeds. 
Your latest movie has finished shooting and is ready for release at the production office. Thank for you for lunch, interrupting me. If him. they get up extra early and skip breakfast. Does that mean that sci-fi films are going to be big? Because I've just built my awesome sci-fi set. Check it out. That's a bit steampunk. Anyway, right, I need money. So, it's ready for the release. Love Lasso. The script policy was one star. I've been missold again. Both of you are average. My crew will get better, I'm sure. No, we didn't get any superbs in this now, but never mind. I'm sure it'll be fine. Even with O's missing. This is starring Martina Stender as Whistler. Ooh. There he is with his rose. He walks through the woods. He goes into the bar and now I don't know what happens. Oh, they've gone straight for the throat. But does he find love? We don't know. Was she saying no then? Was she shaking her head? That's really bad. As in, no, that was really bad. On the plus side, you all got a bit of experience. And it only cost me $14,000 to make. Oh dear. Mark, your acting's really bad, mate. I hope we have a stage school of some sort, because you two are really letting me down right now. Fantastic. Your latest movie has been released. This should help improve your ratings. Oh, it's only gone in at number 14. It's doing worse than the last film I brought out. Oh dear, oh dear, on the plus side, you two are really super happy now. To get to the top of the charts, you'll need to focus on improving the star ratings of your stars, movies, and studio. It's got a ramp, look. It's got a ramp, you can get in. I like it. Well, in that case... The star rating of a star increases with the success of their movies, their image and salary. A movie star rating right. includes right, more it. details on I really get part it. of a star's movies or your studio's rating changes significantly. A message will appear to show you what has changed. We've got better. That's what's changed. You can get a breakdown of the best and worst features of the studio by reading the studio reviews. At the production office, place the information object in the reviews room. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. So I am going to just check out how good or bad my studio is. And then in the next episode, we can come back and make a sci-fi film with a woman in it. Jenny Carlson is currently the weakest link in the studio. The lot looks like it's been laid out by a toddler. Okay, that's on me. That's on me. We have a fair amount of money. We do have some stars, but not many. But the culinary, culinary delights, the food served at Trashy Films, are the envy of all other studios. And really, that's all that matters, guys. That's all that matters. I'm happy with that. After making awesome. After stars usually need some time to relax. An overworked star is not a happy star. And stress could lead to bad behaviour and further problems. I'm sure that none of you will cause me any problems. Hover over a star to see their stress. Stars can de-stress in various ways. A snack van is a good place for now. I agree. Let's go to the snacks! With time, you'll acquire new facilities in which your stars can de-stress. Certain ornaments can also help stars to relax. Like flowers. Check you lot out. Eating okay. your burgers, for looking your at my flowers. Movie, you'll need to write your own script. <gasps> With the industry beginning to grow and competition rising, scripts won't just materialize at your front gates. Oh, that's a shame. Well, that's what I'm going to do in the next episode, then. I'm going to write a script. You lot are going to eat your burgers. I'm glad to see you putting your litter in the bin. <laughs> Please come back next time. This looks like it's going to be amazing.